Welcome back everyone to Mike Collect Stuff. And today we're gonna go over a couple things. But the first thing I wanna go over is the video I put out on Saturday called Five Players to Invest in on a Budget. I only went over four of the players. How can I do a five player video, advertise it as five, and only mention four of the players? Dummy, I'm a dummy. <laughs> But guess what? We're here right now and I'm gonna go over the fifth player real quick so we can get that out of the way because I deliver. Maybe not on time, but I deliver for you guys. So, aside from the four players I mentioned Saturday in Saturday's video, the fifth player that you could purchase now on a budget, a small, you know, if you make little money or you, you don't have much money to spend but you still want to collect and maybe make money in the future one of the guys I've been collecting for a little while and he is yet to have a major league at bat is Isabel Abandel and he right now he's part of the Angels organization but he came up in the Dodgers organization and then he went on to the Reds so right now I believe he's in AAA or he's gonna be in AAA this year but he is a home run hitter. He is a power hitter. Uh, so, I got some cheat cheat notes here. He is a first baseman. He's six foot four, 225 pounds. He's 25 years old, so he's a big boy. Big boy, Isabella Bandel is. Power hitter. He's got seven years in the minors with a 271 minor league batting average lifetime. So he had 36 home runs in 2018 with 397 at-bats. So I believe he led, I think it was double A in home runs uh, that year. And then he had 26 home runs in 2017 and 28 in 2019. The only problem with Isabella Bandel, he's got a lot of strikeouts. He strikes out more times than he gets hits. I think he's got a higher strikeout average than he does a hit average, unfortunately. He had 172 strikeouts in 2017 in 44 at-bats. That's a lot of strikeouts. But, you know, if you can hit a lot of home runs, some of these major league teams might be able to look past the strikeouts and take a chance on them. The guy kind of reminds me of Joey Gallo from the Rangers. Joey Gallo had a lot of strikeouts in the minors, but the guy can hit home runs. So as you can see now, he's a, you know, in the past couple of years, he's a top leading home run hitter, Joey Gallo. So right now, Isabella Bandel, hopefully he gets a chance this year to come up with the Angels. One shall see because, you know, time will catch up with him eventually. But so this is kind of uh, maybe a long shot at this point. I don't know. But again, he's only 25 years old. His rookie card and only cards came out in 2018. So he's got his first Bowman Chrome, the uh, first Bowman Chrome prospect card in 2018 Bowman. There it is. You could pick this up for right around a dollar, probably plus shipping. Maybe you can get it for free. I don't know, but you can get definitely get it at baseball card shows for a buck. So uh, his first Bowman Chrome card right now, it's a super good deal, especially if this guy makes it to the majors. First Bowman Chrome cards are uh, shooting up in value if the players do well. So that's a, it's a good card to invest in. If you have 10 bucks, buy 10 of them, you know? You can get his first Bowman Chrome autograph card right around five to $10 right now. Five to $10. If this guy makes it to the majors and he hits 30 home runs in his first season uh, or, or has some a uh, couple of good first games, you can bet this card's gonna double and triple in price. So right now you can get this card for around five to $10. And then you have his refractor auto, you can get right around $20. Uh, you can also get uh, his Bowman Draft autograph card. I happen to have his orange here. I, I think I paid uh, maybe $30 for this orange auto probably a year ago. Um, so he does have a Bowman Draft auto card also. And then he also has a Bowman Tech card from 2018. So this is the only uh, year you can get Isabella Bandel's cards. So check out Isabella Bandel. Check out his stats. You pronounce, the, but there's his name right there. Isabella Bandel, I-B-A-N, 
Well, a bandel Isabel, sorry. I B A N D E L I S A B E L. A bandel Isabel. I was calling him Isabel a bandel. I think he has two first names, to be honest. <laughs> but that was my fifth guy on that video that I forgot to put on there for some reason, even though I had the notes right in front of me. <laughs> Dumb. So that's that. Uh, next thing I wanted to talk about real quick, uh, last night, which was, uh, I'm gonna post this video today, hopefully. Uh, last night was Tuesday night. Anybody check out Ryan McMahon from the Rockies? The guy hit three home runs last night. Ryan McMahon, three home runs and had four hits. Holy cow, Ryan McMahon. He hasn't really had the best of uh, seasons the last couple of years, but he's still young. So Ryan McMahon's first Bowman Chrome card came out in 2013 and then his rookie is in 2018. I happen to collect a ton of Ryan McMahon cards and I was going through them today just because of his outstanding game he had yesterday because who hits three home runs in one game? Uh, so I wanted to go through all my Ryan McMahon cards because he is somebody that I did stock up on uh, a couple years ago. You know, I got I got a ton of his, uh, his rookie cards and autos here from 2018. Optic was a, a good year. I think you could still pick up his cards right now uh, fairly cheap. Um, they are going up as we speak because there's people buying them and people are raising their prices. So you can see the uh, Bowman Chrome rookie autograph from 2018. You got regular optics that are really nice. Uh, you got his base auto from 2018 Bowman. You got a finest refractor. Auto from 2018. We got this uh, museum collection autograph. This one's uh, numbered out of 50 I have. This is a nice immaculate uh, four patch auto numbered out of 50 that I picked up. And I didn't just recently get these. I've had them for a little while now. I just waiting, I've been waiting for Ryan McMahon to do his thing. Uh, I got a couple of Topps label, gold label autograph cards. Uh, I got a bunch of these. Um, 2013 Bowman Sterling refractor autos uh, that I've, I've been picking up over the years. Uh, these are all numbered numbered out of 50, out of 99, out of 125. Uh, all kinds of Ryan McMahon refractor autos from Bowman Sterling. I got all, a bunch of base autos, uh, second year and third year prospect refractor autos. Don Russ Signature Series auto. That one's out of... Uh, What's that numbered? Numbered out of five. One out of five for that one. I just noticed that. That's a nice card. I don't know. I got this gold signature series out of 10. So I got that out of five and out of 10. I haven't looked at these in a while because McMahon hasn't done anything you know, in, a, in a little while. He had a good spring not, not too long ago. Two years ago, I think. Got his blue uh, 2013 refractor. Uh, what else? I don't know, a bunch of cards. Ryan McMahon, dig into your collection, see what you got. I don't know if now's a good time to sell while he's hot. I don't know if he'll stay hot, that's the thing. If he stays hot, the cards will go up more. Or he might uh, cool off and maybe now this is the day to, to sell his cards. I've listed a few online just to see how they do. So I'm just waiting for people to bite on them. So yeah, Ryan McMahon of the Rockies. Three home runs yesterday. I think he had uh, four RBIs, four or five RBIs, four hits. So, you know, out of the first week, he's hitting over 400 right now, but just the first week. So uh, next up, I need to get through this box of uh, mail from eBay. It just keeps growing and growing. And every time I think I'm making a dent in it, uh, it just keeps getting taller because I have an issue of spending money on eBay and buying cards. So we're gonna open some of these up next. Right, so we're gonna get into opening some of these because there's probably a good 200 cards in here that I have not opened yet. Uh, so the first card we got out of the box is a 2020 Panini Prism. That looks like a gold donut circles, rookie card, numbered out of 25 of Josh Rojas. Josh Rojas, gold donut circles. 
Uh, I was buying Josh Rojas during spring training when he was super hot. He led uh, spring training in hits. Uh, so far, in the first uh, week of week and a half of um, two weeks, week and a half, two weeks, whatever of the regular season, he hasn't really done anything yet. But uh, Josh Rojas is somebody I was buying during spring training, and hoping he turns things around and starts doing well this season. I didn't buy a ton, but I, I've spent some money on him this past season. Uh, let's get this next one. Oh look, a little uh, sandwich bag. They put it in a sandwich bag. That's nice of them. Uh, what do we got here? They taped it well. How do you even open this? Blue tape. That's all right, it comes off easy. Takes a minute. And they packed it well, they, they put it, they gave me a couple of free top loaders, so that's cool, I can reuse the top loaders. Uh, and yes, I did get a haircut this past weekend, that's why you saw my hair long in one video, and now it's short. Now I just need to shave, because I look like Grizzly Adams, because he had a beard. Uh, next card, finally got it out. Um, this one is a 2020, I think it's a Diamond Kings, uh, numbered out of 99. It's a patch card of Jonathan Daza, of the Rockies, Jonathan Daza. He's another one that had a pretty good spring. Yeah, all these, all these ones on top uh, just recently got in the past couple of, uh, like in the past week. There's still some in the bottom of this box from like January. So this next one here, this person gave me a few freebies to protect here. We got a uh, Hank Aaron card, 2019 there. That was freebie. And Ahmed Rosario, Joey Votto freebie. A couple award winners. Show Otani freebie, that's not bad. Alex Bregman freebie. Heritage and a Mookie Bet. So those are actually nice little filler cards uh, to protect the card that I ordered. Uh, next guy we got here is from the Houston Astros. And he is a, a prospect on the Astros who didn't have a horrible spring. Uh, he has yet to have a major league at bat. But I, I actually have a lot of these this guy's cards. Uh, this is a 2016 Bowman Chrome First Blue Refractor Auto of Ronnie Dawson. Ronnie Dawson, Blue Refractor Auto, numbered out of 150. And you can get Ronnie Dawson's cards really cheap. Uh, he doesn't have the highest batting average. He can hit home runs. And I believe he can steal some bases. He, I think he's a left fielder. He's definitely an outfielder. I don't remember where, what position he played. It was outfield, left field, I think. So, uh, someone to keep an eye on is Ronnie Dawson. I think he's going to get some at-bats this year. I, I don't know if he made the team, but I think he's on the alternate uh, training site for the Astros. So, Ronnie Dawson. Nice. I think I paid like $12 for that blue refractor auto. Like I said, you can still get his cards cheap. Um, this one is... Cards in here. Yeah. I think one is a freebie. I don't think I ordered one. But uh, they gave me a uh, 2019 Bowman Chrome Prospect Refractor of Daniel Johnson. He's actually a pretty good prospect. And then I got a uh, 2018 Bowman Chrome Blue Refractor Rookie of Nick Williams from the Phillies. That was kind of a cool card. I think I paid like $2 for that. Get the next one to open here. Next up is this. I'm trying to open it. I hate it when they put like tape on these things and you, when you peel the white tape off, it just uh, it sticks right to the, the top loader. So this is a 2020 Diamond Kings patch card of Josh Rojas, rookie. Nice little two color patch, numbered out of 99. Got a nice little collection of Josh Rojas, so I'm hoping he does well. Oh, we got a few cards in this one. 
Oh, look at that, they wrote my name on it. And again, we got the blue tape, so we're gonna take a minute to take the blue tape off. Oh, I know what these are. I got uh, three patch autographs, rookie patch autos here. It was a lot that I, I purchased. I think I paid $20 on auction for this. And uh, some of you guys are probably like, why did you get that? So these three here are of, uh, let me see what year, 2015, oh no. I thought these were 2016. Hold on while I refresh my memory. Okay, I got two 2015 National Treasure patch autos and a 2016 patch auto uh, rookie cards of uh, Jake Lamb. It's a nice looking card of Jake Lamb. This one's numbered out of 25. Actually, this is a timeless. Nope, flawless. I cannot read. I need glasses. I can't read these cards. 20, uh, jeez, many crickets. Holy cow. 2016. Oh, is that what it says? I cannot read this. It says 2016, but I thought his rookie was 2015, which doesn't make any sense to me. Because they are. Jake Lamb's rookie is 2015, which is these. But this one's a 2016, and it says rookie. I don't know how that's possible. Anyways, Wow. This one's numbered out of 25. It's a Jake Lamb autograph patch card. And it's not. And it's not a Jake Lamb. So again, I thought it was a Jake Lamb. I thought they were all three Jake Lambs, but it's not a Jake Lamb. So I sound completely idiotic here. This is a 2016, which is correct, patch auto of Caleb Cowart. Los Angeles. I kind of thought they were all three were Jake Lambs when I bid on this, but that's okay. I don't mind somebody different. I don't know if this guy's still playing. Caleb Cowart, anybody heard of him? Numbered out of 25. I got that one. Whew. That one hurt my brain. Wow. These are 2015 National Treasures. Jake Lamb, uh, Patch Auto out of 99. Jersey Auto. And we have the uh, numbered out of 25 silhouette, uh, three color patch auto so Jake Lamb is currently uh, he's a backup first baseman I believe on the uh, White Sox he did really good in the minor leagues uh, then they brought up to the Arizona Diamondbacks he did pretty good on the Diamondbacks hit 20 30 home runs but the last couple seasons he hasn't really found his his groove so he's been passed around from the Oakland Athletics to the Atlanta Braves this spring. He got released in the Braves. Now he's on the White Sox. So Jake Lamb, I'm just waiting for him to do like anything. And then I'm probably gonna offload his cards, unfortunately. Cause I, uh, I don't know. He's, a, he's an extreme long shot at this point, but that was a, a good deal for the three patch autos. That took way too long to get through, through those three cards. I apologize. I just, I thought that one was a Jake Lamb and it wasn't cause it, I was seeing the red uniform and, and whatever. We're just gonna move on past that card, those cards. Yeah. We'll open the next one. We'll, we'll get by this. Forget that. It, forget that ever happened. Uh, next up, we have a 2015 Bowman Chrome first green refractor autograph of Taylor Ward from the California Angels. He had a really good spring. Uh, he's got a lot of potential. Taylor Ward. His, his cards are still pretty cheap. I think I paid like around $15, $16 for this green refractor auto. The guys that can hit home runs, he can, he can hit for average. You know, give him, give him the opportunity. Uh, Taylor Ward. What's next? What is next? Here. in the next one. This one is, all right, all right, what's in there, a sticker? Did they put a sticker in there? I don't know what that is. What is that? What is this? Rain Delay Cards Company. Some kind of sticker. Uh, speaking of Jake Lamb, when I heard he got uh, picked up by the White Sox, I decided just to see what other cards of his were out there. 
Uh, and I happened to find this BGS graded 9.5 gold refractor rookie card of Jake Lamb for uh, auction. They had it $12 starting bid. So for a Topps Chrome gold refractor rookie card, I paid $13 for this card. So like I said, I'm just waiting for him to do anything. And uh, I'm gonna go on a flipping spree, I think. This one's numbered out of 50. But for $15, $12, whatever with shipping, uh, for a 9.5 BGS Jake Lamb rookie card, super, super good deal, I think, as long as he doesn't get released. He's got a year contract, so I got a year to find out what he's gonna do. I didn't go too crazy on Jake Lamb because I got a bunch of Jake Lamb cards still. I flipped a lot when he, when he did well a couple years ago. Uh, these are from Com C company. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, Andrew Kaisner rookie cards and prospect cards. So we got his uh, 2019 gold tops card numbered out of 2019. Andrew Kaisner of the Cardinals, he's catcher. Uh, I have his 2019 Bowman Platinum Auto. A 2019 Topps rookie card, uh, 150 year stamp uh, rookie card. There's another gold rookie. This is his 2019 Bowman Chrome First Purple Refractor. 2019, I got two of these 2019 Topps rookie card rainbow foils. And another uh, platinum auto. And a 2019 Bowman Chrome Blue Refractor. First Bowman Chrome. And another purple first. So Andrew Kaisner. He did make the team. He is on the Cardinals. He's the backup catcher. Definitely someone you want to pay attention to. Uh, he might end up as their starting catcher one day. So he might be the future of the Cardinals. Ooh, this one's taped well. Let's see if I can get this open here without ruining the card, without cutting my finger off. Oh my God, I can't even open this. This is rough. It's like they, they, they packing taped the bubble wrap around this. It's so annoying. I mean, I appreciate the fact that they're trying to protect it, but in, in the middle of trying to get the bubble wrap off the card, it uh, you can ruin the card that way. Uh, again, Taylor Ward, this is his uh, rookie card. Uh, 2019 Topps Chrome Blue Refractor Auto of Taylor Ward of the Angels. It's a nice looking card. He's another one I'm just kind of waiting for him to get regular starts. Uh, speaking of a guy I'm waiting to get regular starts, uh, this is 2019 Topps Chrome Sapphire. It's like a cracked ice of uh, Victor Reyes rookie card. Victor Reyes. This is another guy that can hit. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he's done anything yet this season, but the guy is a consistent 300 hitter, or he should be. Victor Reyes, Detroit Tigers. Let's get to the next one here. Up next, we have a 2020 Dunruss Optic, uh, numbered out of 88. It's uh, kind of like a red snake border. I don't, I don't know what you call this. It's a rated rookie of uh, Jonathan Daza, numbered out of 88. Hollow card. Let's get the scissors. Uh, this one is a 2017 Topps Heritage rookie card of Adam Frazier. As far as I know, this is uh, the only rookie card of Adam Frazier that there is. I don't think there is a Bowman prospect card. Uh, Pirates, Adam Frazier. I think this is was his only true rookie out of uh, 2017. He had a really good spring. I think I did a video on Adam Frazier. Up next, 
We have cards that are taped together. I'll, I'll take my time to untape them later. The 2020 uh, Stadium Club Chrome rookie card of Josh Rojas. Two Josh Rojas cards taped together. Oh, boom. Looks like a Star Trek tricorder. Not tricorder. Is that what they call them? The uh, little handheld. Doo -doo -doo. Kirk to Spock. One to beam up. Thank you. Boop, boop. Anyways, I'm not funny. I know. Let me separate this thing here. So, yeah, Josh Rojas again. Crash is building up on the table. It's just all gonna fall over. I'm gonna need a bag after this. What do we got in here? What's in this package? We have, uh, okay. Somebody gave me a uh, Robert Dugar, Dugar rookie. I did not order that, it was just a freebie. And then we have a 2020 Topps Gold foil. Rookie card of Josh Rojas. So I did go on a Josh Rojas spree two weeks ago. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this package. Oh look, it's another Robert Dugar card. Is that the same guy? What the heck did he send me? Did I order like two of each or something? It must be the same guy. So the guy, another guy gave me a Dugar somebody. And then we got the Rainbow, Rainbow Foil. Uh, Tops rookie card, Josh Rojas. It's in the bottom of this box. Let's let's dig down. We're digging deep. Pull out a couple of these from the bottom. I have not yet dropped a card on the floor yet, which is unusual for me. It's still early. Let's see. It'll happen eventually. Watch. If it doesn't happen this video, it'll definitely happen the next video. Uh this one. Oh, yeah, this one I ordered like in January. Uh, this is a 2020 Topps Allen and Ginter rookie card of Lewis Robert. Lewis Robert rookie card. I think I paid like two or three dollars, maybe, maybe four, three or four dollars for this back in January. That's cool. I forgot about that card. I don't remember everything I ordered. And. Speaking of Lewis Robert, we have a 2020 Topps Turkey rookie of Lewis Robert there. That's what I get on the bottom of the box way back in January. Because I save the openings for you guys so you can see what I'm getting. What am I, what am I investing in? Hey, if you're still watching this far into the video, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, if you're going to watch this far into the video and you're not subscribed, you might as well subscribe, right? Hit the like button, the, the thumbs up, pow, 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 pow. and the uh, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, yada yada, all that good stuff that everybody you know says every video. Does it work? I don't know. Maybe. Subscriptions, subscriptions. Get to watch me open and all this wonderful stuff up every every video almost. Uh, yeah, this is another one from uh, January, I think. It's a uh, twenty. 19 tops uh this is a retro card retro design from 94 tops uh, vladimir guerrero rookie thought that was kind of a cool nostalgia look to it i remember getting those type of cards in the packs from 94 tops way back in the day because i'm old i'm old I'm not like this young guy middle-aged like to say middle-aged yeah 44 Uh, got a nice 2020 Donruss. Uh, this is an 86 retro design of Josh Rojas auto. Uh, oh, you can't see his face because they, they taped it, but you get the point. Let's do a couple more because this video is going to be long. I got to edit it and put it online. It's going to take an hour or so. And then I could do another video of these opening more up. Another Josh Rojas uh, gold rainbow foil rookie card. Let's go to this one here. What's in this one? Yeah, this is the last one right here because my pile is going to fall over. It's on the table. 
last card uh, on this video, and then we'll do another video, post it maybe tomorrow or something. They gave me a bunch of hockey cards, which I don't care about. So those will be filler for somebody else. This is a uh, 2015 National Treasure. Um, I think this is a rookie card. Oh, prospect card, prospect silhouette. Uh, three color patch auto of Manny Margot. It's a nice looking card, Manny Margot, numbered out of 99. And we'll stop it there, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you maybe uh, pick up some of the cards I'm investing in. I know a couple of you guys uh, write down some of this stuff and take notes, and that's great. I appreciate it, but don't get mad if they don't do good because I go through plenty of cards that I buy where I lose out on, but I think I gain in the, in the long run, I hope. <laughs> uh, that's it. You guys... Uh, Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching the video. Let's ride. Take care.